After the 248 active radar homing guided Astra air-to-air -air systems was recently cleared for the Indian Air Force's Su-30 and Navy's MiG-29K fighters, new reports indicate that a newer variant of the indigenous Astra air-to-air -air system with the passive imaging infrared seeker will be ready for initial trials from 2022, which will be able to autonomously detect track and lock on the aerial targets. It will be powered by a smokeless solid propellant with higher impulse motor for improved performance, and its minimum and maximum operating ranges will be around 500 meters to 60 kilometers. The Astra IR variant can be adapted on all types of fighter jets, as it will not require deep integration with the mission computers of the aircraft. The DRDO is also developing a next-generation close combat system which will be ready by 2027, that will be carried in the internal bay of the 5.5 generation AMCA fighter jet, and it will also have special paint coatings to reduce its radar cross-section, so that it can also be fitted on the wingtip pylons without compromising the stealth of the aircraft. The former chief of the Indian Air Force has dismissed the claims of a Chinese expert, who said that the Rafale fighter jets had no chance against China's J-20 stealth fighter, as the Rafale is one generation below the Chinese J-20. The Air Chief Marshal B. S. Tanoa has said, that if the J-20 is indeed a fifth-generation stealth fighter, then why does it have the canards, that increases the radar signature of the fighter jet? and it will give away its position to the long-range Meteor system equipped on the Rafale fighter. He also questioned, that if it is really a fifth-generation fighter, why can't the J-20 Super Cruise, while the Rafale fighter jet has this capability? A number of experts have said, that unlike aircraft of Russian origin, the Chinese have very limited insights into French technologies, and China will not bring the J-20 face to face with the highly modified India-specific Rafale fighter, until China is self-assured of the capabilities of the J-20. The Indian Navy has said, that it is not in the favor of the offer made by Hindustan Aeronautics for the 111 Naval Utility Helicopter contract worth 21,000 crore rupees, as the naval version of the advanced light helicopter does not meet Navy's requirements, and there is also an immediate need to establish alternative capability in the private sector to manufacture modern helicopters and aircraft. The problem is that the design of blade folding capability of the advanced light helicopter takes too much time to be deployed, and every minute is precious in search and rescue operations. It was specified that only private sector companies are eligible to take part in the contest, and now the final selection is completely stuck after Hindustan Aeronautics had entered the competition. China is installing 20 MW steam turbo generators to its naval ships and aircraft carriers, which is almost four times powerful than the current generator units, for powering electromagnetic catapults, high-energy laser systems and electromagnetic rail guns. The new Chinese Navy ships would fully depend on electric propulsion, leading to faster response time, significant fuel savings and better maneuverability. After the ban of 59 Chinese mobile applications, the Indian government has amended the import policy of color television sets from free to restricted, which is seen as another setback to the Chinese trade in India. This decision will affect the Chinese TV sales in the country to the tune of over $1 billion. The Directorate General of Foreign Trade will now separately issue the procedure for the grant of license. ISRO Chief Dr. Keshavan has said, that the Indian Space Research Organization will allow the Indian private sector to set up their own launch pad, and ISRO will not charge anything for any launches, and will provide the private companies with all the expertise needed for setting up such facilities. He did not rule out any satellite launches in 2020, saying that it all depends upon the situation in the coming months.